from Ambassador Dr. Mohammed Shadet Amin Khan is asking, during the pandemic, you are losing jobs. What my brother Ambassador Akram suggests to international community to act to come up with this crisis? Thank you. <clears throat> uh, thank you to, to the doctor. Uh, you know, losing jobs, of course, um, we have to see the, the 400, the, it is estimated, I, I always estimated the loss of about 400 million or the equivalent of 400 billion jobs will be lost because of the, of the pandemic. Um, the focus has, uh, has been uh, many times on the jobs in the richer countries, how the low skill, low skill jobs have been lost so forth. Um, uh, but in the pandemic, the job losses, as I see it at least, has been very largely in the informal sector, in the sector where people earn their living through daily work. They go out for labor, they go out for construction, uh, they are working in agricultural, community, they are selling things uh, uh, informally on the street. These are the majority of the people whose livelihoods have been affected because when the economy contracts, the daily wage workers are the first affected because they are at the front edge of the informal economy and the informal economy is the first thing that collapses when there is no money, when people are not spending money and people are, are not participating in, in uh, economic activity. It's the daily wage earners and the small enterprises that are the first to be affected. And that's where the jobs, most of the jobs have been lost. So what the answer to that in the short term has to be a relief package. These are people who have to be provided direct cash support by, by their governments. They, and, the, and the economy has to be kept alive through cash injections into small and medium enterprises to finance activities such as agriculture, construction, uh, et cetera, where the informal sector can be employed uh, immediately. And this is the immediate relief that, that we require. But in the longer term, uh, the, the, the creation of employment, in, in, especially in the developing countries, has to come from a structural transformation, has to come from skills development, from the investment in the high employment sectors such as agriculture and manufacturing, uh, construction, these are, are sectors which are high employers. Oftentimes, we are led away into saying, well, the, the fastest growth in jobs is in the IT sector, but, but that, is, that is a distraction because the real volume of jobs that are needed to be created is in is in the agriculture sector, in the manufacturing sector, in the industrial sector, uh, the construction sector. That's where most of our people will be employed in the, in, in, in the immediate future. Uh, and for the long term, the IT jobs can help in providing the right objectives for investment. In, the, in agriculture, in industry, manufacturing, et cetera, because we need to have the best possible solutions for where should we put our money uh, in skills development, in human development, in health development, uh, in, in these sectors. Uh, so IT is a supplement. IT is an essential supplement. Um, it, is, it is like uh, the vitamin we need to keep our system alive and competitive uh, as such, but the real body of our economy, the real economy, that is where we have to focus on the creation of 
Abdullah. Thank you so much. Excellent.